Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. guys welcome to the beverly hillbillies facts and trivia thanks for being here uh today's video uh the, as to how the beverly hillbillies the show was in desperate need of more writers as the series went on take a look the 1960s writing team usually consisted of two people anything more than that would simply be called a stable of writers <clears throat> something paul henning lacked in the early seasons of the beverly hillbillies Henning was the writer, producer, and creator of the hit series, which made its on-screen debut in 62. During the first few seasons of The Hillbillies, Henning put all of his time and dedication into being the sole writer on the show. But in 66, for the first time in his four-year tenure as creator, his head writer finally found his stable and he had an actual writing team. His team included Ronnie Perlman, Buddy Atkinson, and Mark Tuttle. Tuttle was the only writer to be with Henning from the start. Well, there was nothing unusual about a TV series having four or more writers. It became as a big adjustment for Henning. According to the 1966 interview with the Calgary Herald, Henning said he was doing the long and grueling task of being the main writer for the series with the sole help of Mark Tuttle, who he brought on midway through the first year. <clears throat> Henning originally employed Tuttle as his assistant and on-the-job trainee. I think it's safe to say he got his uh, training hours in, and then some. Henning kept his eye out for writers who would match the message on the Beverly Hillbillies. Knowing a thing or two about the hillbilly culture was just as important to him as other skills on his resume. A problem was that almost all script writers are big city boys born and bred, and it figures, Henning said. And the big city is where one is most likely to acquire glibness, sophistication, and education it takes. But the big city boy doesn't have the inherent understanding of nature, customs, and lore of the type of native rural Southern Americans represented by Jed Clampett and his kin. Henning grew up in western Missouri where he would attend a camp deep in the Ozark Mountains. He met people along the way and those random hillbilly hikers inspired many of his future characters, including those in the hillbillies. Till he would find the right writers, he held himself and Tuttle, a grueling work schedule with over 70 episodes being written between the first three seasons. According to the interview, <clears throat> Henning even transformed his office at the general service studio into a living quarter where he would stay and write night and day. With the show growing in popularity and with the lack of time, Henning did a deep search and found two former country boys who were ready to write, Atkinson and Perlman. Both of them had experience of a big city, but with the background of rural culture. You can't turn out a good Beverly Hillbilly script merely by substituting lingo like can't and branch water and side meat in a place of standard English, Henning said. You have to really know those people in your bones. Henning said, compared to the writing job, the admin tasks uh, involved producing were a breeze for him. It was clear he had spent most of his time in the career thinking about how to better the Beverly Hillbillies. He and his new stable of writers rode all the way to success. As anyone knows who writes regularly for a living, it's an agonizing way to keep food on the table, Henning said. <clears throat> Imagine, if you would, producing, writing, directing the whole spiel. 70 episodes that's that's three years 70 episodes that's a lot of work man i'm surprised he lived long <laughs> i mean that's a lot of stress seriously anyway i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this please don't forget about classic tv facts and trivia it is on jay north of dennis the menace fame and how he was abused by his guardians on the set and classic rock and country music facts of trivia as uh, five albums that were put out that caused the breakup of five bands. It's pretty interesting as well. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please like this video if you don't mind. Have a great, great day. God bless. Praying for you.